This planned new sugar complex located in Atyak within the northern district of Amuru could go under the auctioneer's hammer should it fail to return income and profit within a year's time from this May 2018. The can now has grown to 10 months. But when it came for the factory, Alhamdulillah, they told me I have to go for due diligence, we have to check your company, everything has been done. If anybody has been checked in this country, it's me. And they have been very transparent. The factory without cane cannot work. The cane without factory can also cannot work. A host of correspondences between Oral Investments Limited that are promoting the sugar project, DFCU Bank that is handling the 90 billion shilling line of credit, Bank of Uganda, that's handling the agricultural credit facility, and Minister of Finance is pointing to a crisis in fixing the capital needs to immediately roll out commercial production. We have decided to take money from the agricultural credit fund and give it to her, the $20.5 million. In what attracted diverse interpretation from different quarters, last week several sugarcane outgrowers from Atiak Petition the Speaker of Parliament to have government's proposed shares expanded to realize 47 billion shillings needed to kick in the financing gap. Because you have no other, you other market, you cannot take it to Kakira, you cannot take it to uh, uh, Kinyara, you cannot take it to Lugazi. It has to be done in, in Amuru. So you have my support and I will, I will assist you to solve this problem. The restructured financing of the 90 billion shilling facility from DFCU Bank has also pulled up a flurry of appeals to the Ministry of Finance for waivers in stamp duty and applicable taxes worth 688 million shillings. Reina Ojon, NTV Business.